Okay, lower sales and some special property highlights this month in the real estate update for Longboat Key. Hi everyone, I'm Judy Mitchell with Premier Sotheby's International Realty. I live and work right here on Longboat Key. My office is just next to Publix on Longboat. Okay, so this month I want to give you an overview, as I always do, about everything that's happening in the market. But also this month, I am going to highlight some of my picks for what I think are the best buys on the key right now. Okay, I will get to that in just a minute, but if you find these updates helpful, can I please ask that you hit the like button, which is like the thumbs up button on YouTube. That would be great, thank you. Okay, now here's what's happening. Last month, in the month of August, 2024, we had a total of 22 sales. Um, this includes single family homes, condos, townhouses, and villas. Now that is under our typical average of about 30 to 35 sales per month. Last year at this time, we had um, about 30 sales, and in fact, exactly 30 sales, which is typical. Now, why the slowdown, you might ask? Well, it's not due to a lack of inventory, which really is the case in many markets outside of Florida, where housing inventory is kind of low. Here, we actually have a decent amount of inventory, so that's really good because it's a great selection for buyers overall. Now, buyer traffic has been light, and really sometimes at this year, we see a slowdown. However, as a buyer who has bought during a time like this, which is an election period, I can tell you it's really sometimes the best opportunity to get the best home at the best price. You really don't have a lot of buyer competition. So buyers pay attention to that. Now, our median sales price is down this month from the previous months. We are currently at a median price of 935,000 and our days on market, meaning how long these homes are lasting on the market is running at about 116 days. Buyers are generally negotiating about 95% of list price, which is actually kind of about the same as it's been for the last year. Our days on market has increased, however, from 72, um, you know, this time last year versus 116 this year. And as a seller, you have to take that into consideration, especially on pricing, and also I would say that you have to have a patience factor. Now, properties that are not selling in that time may be overpriced. Now, especially at the high end of the market and the very low end of the market, it takes a little bit longer. Now, as a listing agent, I can tell you that for me, this means that I kind of spread out my marketing. I don't front load it as I have been doing in past years because like sprinkling the marketing over a period of time helps me reach new buyers as they enter the marketplace, as well, of course, as to reaching out to brokers who have different buyers coming at different times and at different price points all the time. Okay, now you know the best buyers, of course, and the most highly qualified buyers are working with brokers. So I am very careful to court the buyers and their agents, okay. Now, when we look at the overall market, we see that our highest sales month, uh, our highest sales uh, this month uh, was over $2 million. And that was a lovely home in Queens Harbor, which is right here in Bay Isles on Longboat Key. And the lowest sale price this year was 610,000. And that was for a townhouse in the Cedars Tennis Club. And those are some nice, nice townhouses over there on the north end of the Key. Now, last year at this time, we did see sales at a higher dollar amount and a higher median price. Last year, um, there, the you know right at this time last year, there was a home that sold that was nine million. Uh, there was one home that sold for six million. There was one at five million, and there were five um, that were condos that sold at three million. So this year versus last year. You know, it's kind of interesting because our highest sale in the month of August this year was just over 2 million. So right now we have 149 uh, single family homes, condos, townhouses, and villas on the market. That's a little bit less than last month. That was um, a decrease. Last month we had about 30 units. So, you know, I just think it's interesting to understand, you know, kind of what the landscape is. Now, I told you that I would tell you about what I think the best deals are on the market right now. First, there is a two bedroom, two bath unit at the Islander Club. It's listed for 649. 
This is listed by a colleague of mine at Caldwell Banker. The community um, there is located right on the beach and they have about 800 um, uh, feet of frontage uh, right on the beach. Now this unit does not face the beach, but it's a way to get into a really great building on the beach. It's got tennis courts, it's located um, really close to the Longboat Key Club, it's close to Publix for your grocery shopping, and the unit has an HOA fee of about $1,600 per month, which is not bad. Remember, this also includes your homeowner's insurance, um, you know, it, insuring the exterior. And so um, that is not too bad. It's about 1,200 square feet, and that's pretty good. Okay, now I would also say, I wanna tell you guys about a listing at the Privateer. Now, this one is listed for 900,000. It is also a two bedroom, two bath unit. This one's 1,400 square feet, and from it, you can see the ocean. But the great thing is, it is move-in ready. Now, this is a very high quality building. It's located um, behind the gates of the Longboat Key Club. It's very south on the key, which makes it you know, super easy to get into downtown Sarasota. There are also tennis courts there, and there's covered parking. I really like this building. The, um, the HO fees are running at about 1,700. So again, that includes insurance, that's not so bad. Now, lastly, I wanna mention a unit um, that is a phenomenal unit. It's at Grand Bay. This is a unit that's listed for 799,000. It's a two bedroom, two bath unit. It's about 1,300 square feet. Now, this is a top rated community and it really gives you a great entry point to get into a super luxe building at a really reasonable price. Now, this community is located um, on Sarasota Bay. There are some bay views where you can kind of see the manatees on occasion and also enjoy the seabirds and nature and all that kind of stuff. But there are a couple of pools in this community. There's a clubhouse, um, beautiful hard true tennis courts, and it's super private. It's really tucked back out of the way. Um, and I would say one of the best things about this building is it allows you to have dogs. So super pet friendly and very fancy building. Um, okay, so I also um, wanted to tell you guys that I think that that's a great deal. It's an gated community. That was the last thing I was gonna tell you. So that is the monthly update um, for what's happening in the real estate market on Longboat Key. I really hope you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe um, to my channel so you can get these updates all the time. Or if you think that this information might be helpful for your spouse to hear, or maybe one of your friends, then feel free to go ahead and share it. Definitely hit the thumbs up button. I would so appreciate that. And thanks so much for watching.